What's up guys? Jay here, LVC. I'm back with another hardware review. Yes, I fucking ham. The Kelpie designed by Vaping with Vic and made by EH Pro. So this is brand new, it's sealed. I haven't seen one in person before. This is the closest I've got to it. Um, I haven't watched any videos on how to wick it or anything like that. I have heard people talking about it, but that's probably about as far as it goes. So yeah, let's take you down low. Let's open this bad boy up and let's have a look. Okay, so where we are, down low. Let's open this bad boy up. Let's see. Ooh. So here we go. This is not the one that everybody's got that says review a sample on it. I think this must be the final retail version. It's got the stickers on it. So we've got the QR code, model, batch number, Kelpie on the bottom, a vaping with Vic project. Nice. So yeah, barcode and whatnot. So let's open this up and see what's inside. So here we go, we have a bubble glass, don't know what millage it is, see I should have fucking thought about this, 3.5 maybe, I'm sure that's about 3.5, and the one that's on there obviously because it's a European version is going to be a 2mm, it comes in this lovely protective plastic sock which is stuck. Oh my god. There we go. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, drip tip's lovely. I like the drip tip. That is nice. So it's black resin with some like gold and white bits in there. Looks really nice. That's actually a really nice drip tip. So yes. That's that. Let's have a look what else we get in here. We got a nice little box. Always like a nice little box. It means you've got stuff in there. So we have some cotton, which is probably Vic's favourite. Muji. And we have a little magic screwdriver, which has got the smallest Phillips head on it ever. Got a nice pair of coils in there. Some spare grub screws, which are, by the looks of it, can't see. Well, that's a Phillips screwdriver, so I'm assuming they're Phillips. And we've got some O rings, so that's basically. Oh. And a nice little booklet underneath. Ah, oh, that's quite detailed. Oh, here we go. What else we got? Quality control, warranty card, all in the bottom of the box. Quality control, certificate. You can have it as a key ring. Let's have a quick gander at these instructions. So British and Chinese. Okay, so there you go. Relatively straightforward. Contents of the pack. Dimensions are on there also. Tells you what the drip tip is, what the top cap is, what the glass tube is, what the airflow is and what the 510 is. Lovely. Tells you how to fill it, and then it tells you how to disassemble it and whatnot. I've even got a bit of a picture of the wick here with a photograph. That's always nice to have a photograph. That's a good touch, actually. Not many people give an actual photograph of it. So yeah, that's the paper there. So now let's have a gander. Let's move all this to one side. I am going to be using the coil that's in there for now. So it said it's a slidey top. Is that yes? There's so just here, there is an indication, a little arrow to tell you which way to slide it. I'm presuming yes, it slides back that way. Ooh, it's quite loose. Ain't too bad. A little bit of resistance there. It seems like it might be on a ball bearing. Oh, and a bit of that fell out of there. So yeah, let's undo the. 
Oh, nice deck there, look at that. Okay, so it's a split design deck. So you can run this, is this just single coil mode. You're never gonna get two coils in that, I don't think. Ah, so you can have it with a coil configuration of two legs on one side or opposing legs. So I'm taking, that's what that is. Nice honeycomb airflow shaped down there. See, this is where I'm gonna have a play with this just to see what sort of height we need to be looking at. I can see this is the channel here for the cotton either side. Airflow on the bottom, nice wide airflow. That's relatively decent, nice and smooth. It's got a stop point on each way, so it don't just spin around. 510, protrudes a little bit. Not the greatest amount though, it doesn't protrude that far. It's only about, a, well, you're lucky if it's a mil, it's probably less than a mil, it's like half a mil, something like that. Vic's favorite, no vaping in the bin. Lovely, serial number, and this is serial number 563, nice. So without further ado, my favorite word, let's do this. So I don't know if I did sh show you this, but here, these are actual slots, they're cutouts rather than holes, so you undo it, slide your coil in from one side and then tighten the grub screw on top of your coil so they're not actually holes that you have to fish the coil through. It literally just slides in and clamps down. Which I can see is going to be a decent, easy install. So that's that. I've just opened them up. I'm just going to slide that leg in there, bend that round there, slide that leg in. Oh, look at that. Fucking easy as anything. That is actually easy. I could have done with my dilly gaff at your stand at this point. But true LVC style. Nope. Okay, that's that. That's that there. There we go. That was relatively easy. Relatively easy indeed. And as if as if by magic. This is what just appeared. Bang, my Diddy Gaffati stand. Do you know what? I'm actually liking the simplicity of that. The ease of installing them coils was just fucking phenomenal. It's so nice. I ain't got to mess around. It's centralized. Oh, mate. So I don't, yeah. No, that's fine actually. But the groove's the other way. I don't know whether to turn my coil upside down so the actual coil goes in the groove. Because at the moment I've got the flat bits there. I'm just going to try it like this. We do have another coil. So as I was saying, I don't know whether to keep it that way or turn it upside down so the coil drops down into the groove more. But I'm just going to keep it as it is for now. And then obviously when I vape on this over the next week or so, I'm gonna try different coils, different configurations and stuff. But like I said, there's no way you're getting two coils in there. This is definitely single coil deck. So let's tighten these up. Is a little bit fiddly. Oh, bit jumpy on us. That's, that's super fine. Super, super fine. I would have liked to have seen them X heads at the. Ooh. not the best but you know I can put that to one side it it's grab, grabbing it decent enough just got to put a bit of extra downward pressure that way so it don't keep jumping out but I'm sure be able to get grub screws for this or on a hex or something if I need to but this spare screws anyway as long as I use in this configuration, I've got two spare screws here if I need them, and you get two more in the packet, so I'm not too worried about that at the moment. But that's as simple as that. Super, super simple. Literally, to the edge, bang. 
Oh, that was a bit, yeah, I'm not gonna use that word. Super, super simple, to the edge, bang. Snip. There. I could probably get that a little bit closer if I tried. Let's go that way. There we go. Nice and flush. Let's do the same here. Remember to hold the bits when you cut them off because you don't want them pinging. Oh, clapped in a bit coming off there. Didn't quite cut that. Oh, there we go. Remember to hold the bits that you cut off. You don't want them pinging across the room, landing on the floor, and then you treading on them at a later date. Right, so I've got my mod here. I'm gonna be using this on a HV radar, just to even out the coil. Let's see what this is aiming in at. So I'm gonna be pulsing it on 45. And at the moment it's saying 0.22. So. This really doesn't need that much manipulation. Warm that up a little bit, centralize it, squeeze it up. It's relatively central. Let's have a look at moving it that way, just a fraction. Yeah. Do you know what? That was super easy, super simple, super quick. I'm loving that. And it stayed at a 0.22. So yeah, didn't need much manipulation at all. So now I'm gonna wick it. Right, so it looks like you're just gonna tuck the the wick just inside this groove here. I actually thought there was a dent in the bottom, but they're not, it's a flat plate across the bottom. Let's level with the rest of it. So let's get some wick. The wick that I'm using today, you know, my favorite, that white stuff. In the diameter on this, I'd say it's probably about a three mil. So I'm just gonna pinch off a decent bit. As with all wicking, you want a slight resistance when you're wicking it up, but not too resistant so it pulls your coils out of shape you just want a nice slight resistance and i think that's a little too much there i'm going to peel that bit off and i think that that feels about right there just roll that end up i don't know it might be a little bit too much still let's have a gander push that in Grab that. It's a little bit too much. I'm just gonna thin this out a little bit. There we go. That's better. Lovely. Oh, that's nice. Slight resistance, not too much. I'm gonna pull it all as much as I can that way. So now I'm just gonna trim it so it's nice and flat on this bottom side. And then I'm just gonna have a little way up. That's a bit too much there, I think. So if I push it up, put it in there. Still reckon I wanna just cut a bit more. I'm just gonna cut a little bit off the back. So when I fold it round, it seems to be bulging up at the back, pushing it out the front. So I'm just gonna take a snip off the back. So when I put it in the gap, oh, that's better. Seems to fit in there a little bit more snug now. That's cool. So I'm gonna do the same this side. Bring it down, just on the top of the base. Snip. I'm gonna do the same again. I'm just gonna snip a little bit off the back because when I fold it down, it seems to be all bulging up at the back. So I'm just gonna cut on a little bit of an angle there. I don't know whether you should do this or not, but from what I can see, it's making it sit proud. So I've just cut a little bit out there. So when I fold it in, it fits in there nice. Yeah, that looks good to me. Whether it's the right way or not, I don't know. But what I'm gonna do is eventually, after I've used this for a little while, just to see how it goes, I will be watching Vic's video 
So I'm sure he's, he's got one out there where he tells you how to wick it properly, or someone will have a video out there anyway to tell you how to wick it the right way. But yeah, seems quite nice. One thing I do like about this was the ease of the install of the coils. It was just so fucking nice. But them two, like, they're nice big slots, and you can get decent sized coils in there. Although there is only space for one coil, you can get a fairly big sized coil in there. So, yeah. And with the slots, your grub screws come up, and then you've got a slot where you stick it in from the side, stick it in from the side, and then the grub screw sort of like pushes down. That is a really good design. I'm liking that. So simple to install. You haven't got a fiddle putting it through this hole, then putting it through that hole. It was just good. And also, you can have it, obviously, where it's a split deck, you can have both the legs one way. Or you can have opposing legs and like like that or like that, you know. So there's quite a few configurations that you can have doing this. So I'm just gonna see. Oh, there might still be a little bit too much cotton on there. But what I'm gonna do is see what it looks like once I've put a bit of juice on this and the juice hopefully will hold it back. So what have we got here? We have got some big drip tropical fruit. Not a lot in there, but I'm just gonna use this. I'm gonna saturate this up nice. But when I do this, I wanna be quick because obviously you're gonna get the swell of the cotton. So I've got that bit there. I'm just gonna push that into the groove like so. There we go. Pushed in there, and then same with this side. Push it into the groove. I'm not packing it tight, I'm just pushing it in lightly. But like the suction, the natural grip of the juice is holding it in there. Looks a bit too much cotton there for me though, but I'll give it a try and see how we get on. I'm actually gonna put the bigger glass on this. So I'm gonna pop that out, easy to pop out. Put the glass back on there, and then we're just gonna Stick that over the top. I do believe I've got a bit too much cotton in that. So let's try and manipulate that like so. And then this one like so. And then hopefully it'll go on. Like so, let me take it off the mod. Oh my god, it's the longest ever. There we go, got it on. So my cotton is just slightly sticking out, a little bit proud there, but it's not tight, it's not packed in tight. It's just where there is a, quite a bit of cotton in there. But that went on relatively easy to be quite fair. That's quite nice. So you, as you can see, you can see, if you look very closely, my wick is just sticking out the bottom ever so slightly. So I'm gonna open this bad boy up, remember? There's a little arrow on one of these little grooves here and it tells you which way to open it. Well, not which way, but where to open it from and which way to slide it. Nice big kidney-shaped hole there. I'm not gonna fill this right up because this is not my juice. I've just nicked it off of someone. It appeared out of thin air. Cheers, Dave. So, all right, there we go. What I'm gonna do is just to give it a bit of a test. I wanna see if I can create bubbles. So I'm gonna close the airflow and I'm just gonna dry vape on it and then see if I do get any bubbles to see if the wicking's all right, so. There's a couple of little bubbles in there, so hopefully this will be fine. I'm going to run this on a low one. I'm going to take you back up to the top. And then I'm going to hit this and then let you know what I think so far. 45 watts. Here we go. Airflow wide open. Let's have a look. Oh, that's got some serious flavour right there. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. The flavor on that is on point. I'm gonna probably push this to its limit a little bit. I'm just gonna run this at 60 watts. 
I tend to keep it in the low to mid 40 range just because obviously battery life and it's a single coil so I don't want to be pushing it too hard but at the moment I am going to try it at 60 watts so let's just have a see how it performs that's really good that is really good I'm going to take this up a bit more let's try it up at 70 70 watts getting a little bit warmer dense production on the cloud there let's take it up to 90 watts now let's just be a brave and see there we go I hope this is wicking quick enough slightly on the dry side I have got bubbles coming up so I am quite pleased with that, so it is wicking all right. There don't seem to be any leakage at the moment, but it is. A that was a little bit on the dry side towards the end of it here. It was quite a long hit. It's not a hit that I'll probably normally take that long. Let's try it again. That was good. I've got my air bubbles coming up. I don't know if you can see them there, but I've got air bubbles. So it is wicking quite efficiently. Wasn't bad at all. Didn't get so much of a dry hit there. In fact, I didn't get no dry hit there. Towards the, on the last one, towards the end, it was just slightly, slightly drying out. Let's have another go. Let's put it up to 100. One last push up. So we've got it at 100 watts. Hopefully this is be all right. I'm just gonna give it a inhale without pushing the button, just to make sure I've got plenty of juice in there. Right. Here we go. It was a healthy bloody hit. Towards the last little bit, it was slightly dry. It was ever so slightly dry. I have got air bubbles coming out still now. Maybe I've got just a little bit too much cotton in there. But all in all, flavor's good. Very warm, very good vape. Let me just take a normal sort of average hit rather than a long one. No problems there whatsoever. So that's a couple of hits. Let's just give it a little bit of a chain vape on them, sort of like medium to short hits. Plenty of bubbles coming out of there, wicking really nice. No dry hits. That is 100 watts. That's performing really well. Cloud production, really good. Really fucking good. Flavor on this is awesome. It's immense. It really is. A little bit noisy on the airflow. But, you know, I can live with that. That's cool. It's decent. Really decent. Good bit of kit. I'm actually liking that. The flavor is really good. I'm just going to hit it a few more times. I'm going to chain vape it quite hard now just to see how it wicks with the wicking technique that I've done. I could visibly see that it was slightly too much cotton in there. But let's just see what happens. There's no, there's no moisture whatsoever coming out. There's no signs of no leakage or nothing like that. So it is, it's got plenty in there. Maybe it's slightly too much, but let's just chain vape this for a good few hits and see what happens. 100 watts will remember. So let's have a look. Nice. Still going strong. Plenty of bubbles, nice big bubbles, wicking really well. It's good, all the way through. I don't know where them two little semi-dry hits come from not so long ago. I don't know. I was a little bit concerned, but I've just chain raped that 100 watts. That's going really well. As you can tell, I've nearly done, I've nearly actually done this juice, this whole tank. I've nearly baked it all out there, 100 watts. Nice big bubbles there. Don't know if you can see them. Hopefully you can see them there. So it is wicking really well. 
nothing, like full of flavour, full of cloud. Might just need a breaking in. That's probably all what it was. But, Vic, I've got to take my hat off to you, and I don't normally do that on camera, not with this head. You've got a good fucking tank here, man. Seriously, full of flavour, full of cloud. Mate, I was blasting that on 100 watts, and you see me chain vaping that. The, the cloud production is fucking immense. The flavour is really, really good on that. A little bit noisy, so let's just have a couple of things. It's nothing major, nothing that would stop anyone really from going out there getting it. A little bit noisy on the airflow. Not a problem, though. I can handle that. You know, I deal with him all day long going, <laughs> it's, it's super cool. Um, top seems to be all right. I've got to put quite a bit of pressure on that for that to open. There is a little bit of a loose play in the middle bit there, but that's nothing. When it's open, it's locked into open. When it's closed, it seems to be locked into close. You know? It seems all right. I don't know if any of you guys are ex experienced with the, the Freemax. Um, that is super like, you can breathe at that, like, and it'll just open. So I don't think you're gonna have too much of a problem here. That's nice. I'm sure there's a ball, but it feels like there's a ball bearing system or something holding that light in. So when it moves, when it locks, it goes in, the ball bearing shoots up into a little groove. Because it's a ball bearing, it's easily pushed back, and then it shoots into another groove to hold it open. But yeah, all in all, Vic, you've done quite a good job on that. I'm, I'm really impressed, to be fair. Not that I shouldn't be, but you know, it's, it's a decent tank. Um, so yeah, kudos points to you, well done, and I wish you all the best with it. Um, going back to like, <sighs> there's nothing else really that I can con it about, if I'm honest. Mm, maybe the screws. <clears throat> They're super fine, like, and when I mean super fine, I don't mean the threads, I mean the, the depth of the, the, the star bit where the screwdriver goes in, it's super fine. I had to really push hard on that, maybe, might have some problems with that, <sighs> to be sure. In fact, you know what, I'm not going to bullshit you, I'm heavy handed, I'm going to have problems with that, because I know that I want my, co my coils nice and tight in there, and I'm going to have problems stripping them. But on the flip side of that, I've got two spare ones in the deck still, plus I've got two spare here, so I think I'll be all right. Things that I do like about this is the wicking um, channels, really good, different. Like, you know, normally they go into like a cup in the bottom, but no, straight onto a flat deck, just push it straight in. I'm going to have to experience with that just to make sure that I wick that right. That's going to be down to me. Maybe watch a couple of videos on YouTube from other guys that have experienced it and you know played around with it a little bit longer. But I'll tell you one thing that I love the most about this, the ease of the install of the coils. I love that design, it's wicked. Two slots, grub screw goes down, literally undo the grub screw, put the leg in, put the screw back down, clamps it, lovely. Quick, simple, took me a matter of seconds just to put the fucking coil in. Anyway, I'm rambling on, it's been excellent. I've enjoyed it. Let me hit it a couple of more times before I get out of here. Nearly an empty tank. Full of flavour, full of cloud. Still at 100 watts. I'm actually impressed. Really impressed. Overall, really good. I'm liking this. Um, so what I am going to be doing, obviously, as you know, this is the unboxing and my first impressions, my first wicking. You know, I'm getting the feel of it, uh, my first coil in, my first hitting of it. So what I'm going to be doing is um, probably testing this out for the next week or so. And then I'll come back and let you know how it performs later on down the line. I'm going to throw a few other builds in there. I'm, like I said earlier in the video, I'm going to put the coil in a different configuration just to see if it makes a difference. I'm going to try it at different heights. You know, obviously I put a little bit too much wick in there. We'll see how we get on with that for now. I'm going to run a couple of tanks in to see if it makes any difference, see if it is too much or not. And then, you know, I'm going to try different configurations, different amounts of wick and different bits of bobs. Then I'll come back maybe a week or so, like I said, and then I'll let you know the final thoughts and the final verdict of this. But so far, first impressions, spot on. Guys, Thank you very much for taking the time out to watch this video. Don't forget, if you, are, if you like what you see and you want to see more, subscribe. 
ring that notification bell, ding-a-ling, and all that good stuff. Thank you, EH Pro and Vic, uh, for giving me this tank for purpose of review. Um, I'm really impressed with it, really pleased. So yeah, my name's Jay, this is LVC Reviews. Until the next time, take it easy, Kirsty.